Yeah, hi everybody. The purpose of this video is um, to discuss the differences and similarities between unmarked Wagner and unmarked Griswold cast iron skillets. For me, it's fairly easy to identify either one. Um, they have their similarities and uh, obviously they have their differences. So I've got six skillets here. I've got a number nine, a number eight, a number six, number five, and two number threes. Both are fantastic pans. Both Wagner and Griswold are fantastic skillets. Uh, their machining, their, their sense of quality, second to none, and that's why both of them are truly loved and enjoyed. I am not going to be discussing uh, other unmarked pans, but the question comes up over and over again, is it a Wagner, is it a Griswold? And uh, so I'm going to you know, make some observations here to share with you and you too will be able to identify the difference between a Wagner and a Griswold. What you're looking for initially it's all in the handle. The This is a Griswold. There is no V notch in the handle. This is a Wagner. There is a V notch in the handle. Here's another V notch in the handle. This is on top side of the handle obviously. Here's another V-notch, no V-notch, this is a Griswold, no V-notch, this is a Griswold. One of these two is unmarked, same thing with these Wagners. Some of these are marked, but for the sake of this explanation, uh, this video, I I've, got, I've got both my Wagners and, and Griswolds out. There is a triangle on the base of the handle you'll be able to feel it. You're not going to be able to feel it in a very pronounced way, but all of them have a, a triangle on, at the base of the handle, including the, Gris, you know, the Griswold, small little triangle on the handle. Same thing with the Wagners. There is this end of the handle here. And for me, I refer to this as the handle pull. So here's what I mean. If we take a Griswold skillet and we take you could use your pinky if you were to pull on this handle right here it's going to feel softer it's going to feel like you, there's not a whole lot to sort of for your finger to hook into same thing with this Griswold if we get a Wagner out and we take our finger and try to pull you can use your pinky finger, come in, and you, you'll feel almost like a pocket for your finger to set into. And I hope you can see this. I'll try this finger. There's a pocket for your finger to, and it makes it very easy to pull, pull the pans. I mean, here I am pulling basically two pans using the pull of the handle, and I can grip it. If I were to take a Griswold and try that, I'll slide these back. I take my finger and go underneath. It has a tendency to want to rub off. It's a smoother, it's like a ropey feel. I don't know how to describe it, but it's just a smoother feel without that hook. Okay? So, let's see where we're at here with things. These two are Griswold. One of them's unmarked, one of them's marked. Here's a Wagner. We got that pull, we got the V. So we know that that's going to be a Wagner of some sort. That might be the unmarked one. Here's a Wagner. I've got that finger pull. Here I am pulling, to, you know, all the pans just based on this little, little pocket for my finger to rest into. If I were to jump over to this Griswold here and use a, a weaker finger, it has a tendency to want to pull off. Right? So these are two real big clues as to whether or not you have a Griswold or a Wagner. Here's that pocket. All of the Wagners are going to have that little pocket, marked or unmarked. So, now it's time to sort of reveal what exactly we have here. This is a Griswold. I'm not sure if it's marked or unmarked. But again, we have a nice round, round top to the handle here. It's smooth and it's a soft sort of uh, eyelet there. You know, not not a not a not a little pull pocket either. So if we take a look at it, sure enough, 
This is a Griswold. This is an 11 and a half, 11 and a quarter inch skillet. There's that triangle. Okay. So this triangle here, if it's completely unmarked, you're still going to have a triangle, whether it's going to be a Wagner or a Griswold. Here's this, let's, I'm going to just so I can stack them up here. Here's this pan. This one we said was a Wagner. It is a Wagner. This Wagner, again, has a small triangle here. Okay. Here is that like pull pocket, the handle pull. Finger fits right in there. Next skillet. This is going to be a Wagner. It is a Wagner. There's the triangle. Here's the pocket. It's a. If you put your finger in there, you'll know exactly what I mean right away. This is going to be also a Wagner. We've got the indentation. I can feel a little bit of a triangle. There's the pull pocket. And this is a very unmarked Wagner. Probably around 1950, 1940. No markings on this pan whatsoever. There is a, a little mold mark here in the triangle. Still has the triangle. Has a little mold mark. And that is the only description that's on this pan. There's nothing else. There's no other way to identify it. And, you know, so you have to use the handle as an indicator. Because beyond that, there's no way of telling. Here's a Griswold. Again, soft handle. No real definitive pocket for your finger to pull at it. Uh, this is a Griswold. It says it's Griswold. Again, we have that triangle. This is going to be a Griswold. Turn it over. We have the triangle. Unmarked Griswold. So, again, we can feel... It's got that softer, rounder edge here. It's got the triangle. Um, there appears to be a mold mark here of some sort. But this is an unmarked Griswold skillet. I hope this helps. You know, listen, with a lot of this antique cast iron cookware, there's really no guarantees. I mean, if somebody were to say, you know, here's, here's this pan, it's unmarked, would you bet your life that it's got a... You know, no. I mean, there's, there's a, some possibility that this is a, you know, an imposter of some sort. But as, as as general rules of thumb, you know, that's, you know, that's what we're talking about here. The answer's in the handle. Obviously, if it's marked, the answer's on the bottom side of the pan. But I, I truly hope this helps out, how, helps out a bunch of people. Um, I enjoyed making the video. Thanks for tuning in. And I'll catch you next time. Thanks. Bye-bye.